Hey everybody, it's Wolvash. Welcome back to Amnesia Machine for Pigs. All right, um, we discovered this little uh, hidey hole in the last episode. Another peeping Tom bathroom mirror. But when we opened up, there was a lot of blood. So something clearly, clearly bad happened here. Like, what is all this? Is it plywood? Is it insulation? Oh my god, there is a lot of blood here. This is like 10 people's worth of blood. Alright, what did that do? Kick some live bonds and open something. Well, I see a saw and a giant sledgehammer. That could have led to all this blood in here. What is that? Oh, that's like mashed up rats. Okay. Um, and what is that? Some kind of conveyor system? Is that a, that's a belt of some kind? But there's something over the belt. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh. Do they want us to drop? I can't, like, pick up the rats or anything, can I? Is there anything I can grab in here? Seems like they want us to drop something in there. Uh, if they do, I don't know what it is. So I guess... I guess we're done in here for now. Just starting up another engine. Okay. Okay. So I noted last time that they weren't making me, like, there's no, like, refilling my lantern and no, uh-oh. Why is everything freaking out? <gasps> what the crap is that? It busted out of this room where all the blood is. Hands are bleeding. Raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. How can I hold my children with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instruction? That's the least of my worries at the moment. What came running out of this room? Oh, Sally I, the doll's cottager. Oh, she come a-snuffling by night round ye door with her pretty apron right down to the hoof. And her ringlets are fair and her eyes china blue like a half-buried hand in the wintry snow. Oh, like a hand in the wintry snow. No, no, no. Wasn't done. Wasn't done. Um, she'll beg for you. She'll beg you for apples through the window ajar. Her face be all hidden, but her eyes shine a flame. And though you'll be tempted uh, her bosom so fair, she'll snatch you and catch you and eat out your heart. Oh, she'll catch you and eat out your heart. So look to your manners come the eve of the year, lest Sally comes calling for apples, my dear, and know that some doors ne'er should open wide, take heed of your father and keep safe inside. Disobedient children make Sally her pies, and warm Sally's beastly insides. Is that... That seems like that's almost uh, referential to that painting we saw with the woman with half a baby in a pot. And we have another caged bed. So clearly some like monster got out of this room and was charging down the hall. Is that what's been in these in these bed cages? Have they all been holding something like that? Whatever that was? <laughs> That's probably not a good sign for us. Oh, oh, we're back in that hallway. Oh, God, now it's got blood in it, which means that thing now came through here. Oh, but it's closed. So we have to go, oh, okay. Now we can get through and across. See, I'm never sure where I should go and explore because now it looks like the world is going to change around me. And make some areas inaccessible later. Yeah, look. 
straight across to this door, which was open the first time we looked. I am off the market. I will cry all the way home. He's a little I pigeon. I will have none. I will have none at all. That is the most disturbing sounding uh, this little piggy reference I've ever heard. Okay, well we got the blood over here. Is this... Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so everything opened up in this steam room. Engine room. He's coming. Come on, Daddy. It's this way. What's this way? A curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discovered this place, it is entirely conceivable they strayed downwards, delighted in the discovery. Very well. It seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. You sound like a little excited about it there. Okay. This looks like another secret door. Yo! Oh, yes it is. Now we're back outside again. What the heck is going on here? That is not accessible. Are we, is this all part of the same villa or are we in like a town? Because look at the structure of this. That's a whole factory out there. Oh yeah, look. This is like the gate to the town. Okay. That makes some sense. A stone egg. You didn't get it from Gwyneth Paltrow, did you? If so, don't touch it. Ooh, oh, whoa, whoa, hey, no, no, oh, climbing. Against the rising waters, planted the fingernails in flower pots all along the river, and when it's dark, so the sun could catch hatch them. All the world is an egg, he reasoned. We will grow hands now. What the frick are you talking about? What does that mean? Okay. Oh, oh, I see a... Note in the dark. June 3rd, 1899. I realize now that my fear of dirt stemmed from the disease I contracted climbing these lost jungle temples. It's as if those clean places, so free of humanity's filth, imprinted upon my soul and left it fragile to what I find here. Fear is what keeps us all in our places, and the fear of the flesh, the ruin of the flesh, is the greatest of them all. I am sickened, I am ruined, but I will build such machines to contain this plague and heal us all. A new century is upon us. Um, I'm saying it again in case I got, like, I feel like I was saying it before and the monster came running out of the room. Not only do I not have, uh... Come on, slow coach. <laughs> it's this way. Not only do I not have to deal with my lantern, it doesn't look like we have an inventory, either. Just documents. Trapped. Was it a trick? That voice on the phone who seems so close to my own? Who seems to know me so well? Does he lead me for nefarious purpose of his own secret devising? But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. Why are you so concerned about your boys when you left them locked in an attic? You were a, you built like a H.H. H. Holmes house full of secret windows and stuff. The shaking ground you feel is our attempts to clear the floodwaters. Treachery, Mandas. We were undone. Your children are trapped by this act. You must find them before it is too late. What do you need me to do? How can I find them? Always deeper, Mandas. Through the piston room and into the tunnels. Then find the bilge and flush the rotten water. I will help you where I can. But you must be swift, my little friend. Okay. 
Why did it sound like he like actually hung up a phone when that's not how this works? Okay, so deeper and deeper. Are we gonna leave that old mansion behind? It always ends in the sewers, man. There's always a sewer that we have to go spelunking through. Oh, 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 oh. Did you build this house on like quicksand? What is, why is everything shaking and falling apart? Whoa. Just a barrel. Just a large, large barrel that rolled across the floor for no reason. Nope, nope, nope. Where is that sound coming from? All right, what do we have here? Sure, just grab the sparking fuse. The saboteur has been this way. Intriguing, the gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors connected to these electrical switches. Whilst the fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun and the gates will remain an impenetrable barrier to progress. Yes, that is how those kinds of things work. Something blocking the door. Can I lift that? Like, I can open it far enough that you would think I'd be able to lift that, but I guess not. So we have to get a fuse. Sure, there's one just... Oh, okay, there is one just lying around. Uh, oh, and there's... Okay, there's all kinds of stuff happening. Oh, wait. Is that a different type of fuse? No, seems to be the same one. They give me an extra one in case I'm so stupid I didn't find it the first time. Okay, what did that open? Oh, this one lets me go back and forth, so there could be a reason for that. Okay. Um, Fuse, you're in here. I'm not going to mess with you because I don't, don't know what I would do with you right now. Should have, should this should not be have affected, not have been affected, but you know, double check. Always double check. So that's the gate. Okay. That makes sense. That's what I thought would have been opened by that. And more stuff is collapsing around me. Bandaged feet and eyes. Small bones in the orchard. I have carried this world on my back with its legs about me. Damn this wretched soul. I am given birth to nothing but machinery. Okay, well here is our, is it a, is it a ladder? What is this? Oh, okay. Um, is that a one-time deal? That is. So if I lift this now, what happens? I can't get back on it. So I guess we'll go crank the crank and see what, what, what happens there. I feel like nothing will happen because it'll just raise back up, right? Hmm. 
Now if I lower it down, does it rest on the barrel? What the frick? Okay. Uh, well, it looks like it might have knocked it out of the way so we can climb back up there. Is it me or is it getting even darker in here? It feels like the lantern's barely doing its job now. Okay, uh... No, still, I can't get... Oh, wait, there we go, there we go, there we go. What is in all these? Are these oil? Since he is more of a machine guy. Because it was wine in the last game. Oh, there we go. That fuse looks fine. There was another... There was another gate. Oh, I can... Can I jump? I can jump? Okay. Second episode in, I can jump. At least I learned about it sooner than later. I guess I should have known that because we jumped in the last one. Because we had to jump across the water to get away from that uh, monster that would tear us apart if we touched the water. Whoa, tidy ho. That's just what you're going to do to me. You're just going to constantly jump scare me with a collapsing house. Okay. Another one? What the frick? How many closed gates do we have here? Let me guess. This one's busted. Yep. Whoa. Dude. More electrical sabotage. Another confounded fuse box. The fellow is thorough in his sabotage, if somewhat repetitive. The stench from these barrels is quite discomforting. I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. Wouldn't you know, isn't this your house? Alright, we gotta get back to that fuse from forever. Oh, there we go. You're a beast, man. One arm, that thing. Uh oh, uh oh. What was that? Okay. Um. Seriously? Alright, so. Do I need to go back around? Can I go back this way? I'm going to go back this way and hope for the best. I don't... Why is my lantern freaking out? Was I wrong? Am I going to need fuel? Oh, I thought I saw a kid there. You kid, stand still. Oh yeah, this is the this is what the earthquake has been doing this whole time. Shaking these pipes to literal shreds. I can't I hold can't still, see. For God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm gonna rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. 
keen off look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? So we go a little bit crazy when we're having flashbacks. It's a little hard to see. Oh, we're back down here again, huh? Did it open up? No, that's not open. Oh, this it what is this? Did we come a different way even though it didn't feel I like it? I told you he'd come. Extraordinary, quite extraordinary. And you built it all. Good God, man. You have been busy. It is wonderful how tragedy focuses the mind. What else was I to do? Fall into grief, pine and fade in my hopelessness? Why not then simply die in that jungle amongst those dead temples? Yeah, don't let your dead wife get in the way of doing stuff. Oh, we're getting into some crazy stuff here now. Nothing. Oh. Wait, is it just operating that lever? Nothing. So we've got a fan. Adjusting the pressure. Doing the same thing again. All right. Did that not do what we wanted it to do? So what if I turn the whole thing off? Oh, I can't turn the whole thing off. Oh, that time we got to tweak it. Oh, hey. Now we turn this off. Can't turn this off. What can we do? Can't do that. Can't do that. There we go. I don't know if that was a puzzle or just... <laughs> but we got through it. We got through it. There's the crazy person eating the baby again. Oh, look at this. Is this all the layers of where we're going? Why is there a giant meat grinder there? I don't like that. Carcass. Is this a slaughterhouse? Like carcass dismembering? Meat grinder? There's a lot going on here. And this is highlighted for some reason. Flood breach, emergency stuck down in place. Okay. Oh, we turned the light on. So I don't need this for the moment. More secret drinking. Secret reading. More secret reading. Seems very normal. Oh, until we move on. The collar, the neck, the noose. Such a fanfare, the Times wrote. It was a splendid occasion. The bunting stretched for streets and the fanfare blew. A proud day for the family. Okay. Proud in what way, would you say? Where are we now? Can I turn that on? Yeah, I can. Oh, the l glory of electric lights, right? Oh, the phone is ringing again. I have such visions to share with me. If my jaw be unshackled, and you harvest the crust from my eyes. Gross. Harvest the crust from my eyes is one of the grossest sentences I think I've ever heard. And I'm saying that in a game with a picture of a woman eating babies in it. Nothing? Get out of here. Share your secrets with me. Desk. May 1st, 1899. 
But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen those things, and I will tell you now, no, they will not. But they will happily accept fealty to a god thrust upon them, and worship it thus given. In this I realize they are no different to the masses. They are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross that great evolutionary line, it must first be painted upon the ground. So, we've seen pictures of like slaughtering animals, lots of stuff. The game is called Machine for Pigs. He's not trying to make pig people, is he? He's talking about evolutionary grounds. Crossing evolutionary lines. August 22nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly. But perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded without a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talk of this. They talked of how, when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnels crisscrossing the capital. What places lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find. At the center of the planet, my architect tells me, there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. We've heard that reference before. What? Just eyeglasses and teeth? Those dentures are actual, like, sets of human teeth. There's crazy cannibal lady again. He really likes that painting. Those green lamps don't do a whole lot. Oh, is that Zeus when he was a swan and, you know, did what he did? I don't know what's going on there. Some kind of hunt all right where's the creepy two-way mirrors in this one there's no bathtub so i guess not in this case back outside for a moment October 11th, 1899, we integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of laudanum derivative and feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from the holding pins onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and will be kept uh, and kept well lit to maintain good spirits. And we have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the lines mean we can use music to further soothe the product. We find Debussy particularly effective in this regard. Yeah, they're trying to create warning fueling pumps, volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive, wear protection. Um, yeah, they're trying to create, like, animal people. They keep calling it the product. And there's the pigs. They're trying to make pigmen. Nope. Okay, wear protection. Oh, do I gotta have to? Oh, I gotta have to find some gloves or something before I can do that. Best to be safe in this place full of rotting pigs. Oh, the squelch, squelching sound. Nope, not going in there. Um, did I check this door then? Yes, okay. Alright, come on in. More dead pig carcasses. Just... Ugh. Through the head. Oh, what is this? Yeah, 
Yeah, we can open that. And I can jump, remember? Oh, hey yo. Is this just a... Uh, September 28th, 1899. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man, as if this is to be desired. One might almost boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, rutting carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets. Alleys and gutters running freely with the careless spill of their conjoinings, the air thick with the whimperings of lust, bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passers-by, and yet this is the condition Babbage aspired to. No, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. So he's, he's complaining about the condition of man being just a bunch of animals, but his goal is to make animal men? Am I, am I understanding this correctly? Whoa, we're back in the like, streets of the town. Strangers not allowed on this works inquiries to be made at the lodge. All right. Um, you know what? We're out of the building into the street. That's probably a good place to call it for right now. Guys, thank you as always uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.